Hi, this is Mike Andrick for BreakingCall.com. It's Wednesday, September 11, after market close, and today we are updating the technical view on Apple. The stock has been under pressure and a hot topic of discussion today after a highly anticipated media event appears to have fallen short of investor expectations. Apple has shown a lot of volatility and has been prone to wild swings in sentiment that had popular opinion near universally bullish at the highs despite the huge rally and extended technical condition. Now that prices declined significantly, psychology has deteriorated and investors are facing the fear side of the fear versus greed cycle. They're having difficulty acting on long trade setups as the stock attempts to establish a base. They were expecting a thousand bucks at the peak, but now that the absence of a Steve Jobs inspired new product or initiative is arising, this has spooked traders very quickly. We are viewing current weakness as a potential correction in an ongoing intermediate rally and would be looking for higher lows and support to take hold prior to a rally continuation. This is still a high risk situation suitable for aggressive tactical traders using stop loss orders. We need to see support validated and then a long trade may have attractive risk reward attributes near term. Remember your first loss is your best loss and that nobody wanted to sell or take much profit up at the $700 level. Looking first at the weekly chart, Apple came back and made a double bottom in an important congestion area that lines up with the 40-week moving average, which is still rising. The stock filled an overhead gap that lines up with a normal 38% retracement, so it's not surprising that the stock would consolidate or pull back at this juncture. Important weekly support is the 40-week moving average, which is near 400. And then a kind of near-term make-or-break level is the du double bottom low near 385. We would like to see support ho hold above those levels, ideally. Switching to the daily chart for shorter-term levels, the stock has gapped down and is nearing a support band. The stock has come back about 50% of the most recent leg up and is in the area of the rising 50-day moving average, which also lines up with the 200-day moving average. Then that average is trying to flatten out here. A confluence of moving averages, trend channel lines, and Fibonacci support levels here puts our ideal tactical trend continuation support in the 435 to 455 band. Worst case, near term, there is an unfilled gap and a minor pullback low near 418. That would keep the near term trend constructive, but we don't want to see it much below that. Thanks for watching and visit us often at BreakingCall.com.